Hi guys, for something different today I'm going to show you how to make tea properly. So in the background is the sound of the kettle boiling. Um, I set it to boil before I started because it takes a little while to boil and it also boils quite loudly as you can hear. Um, I forgot to get the tea out of the cupboard because I'm so organized. So it's night time so I'm going to make vanilla decaffeinated tea. Um, vanilla decaf is, is really nice, particularly because you can't really taste the fact that it's decaffeinated because the vanilla covers that up. Lovely. It smells gorgeous too. Um, so you need tea and you need a kettle. So one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I won this awesome new space kettle in a competition recently. and. Um, I mean, I can't say it's making me make more tea because it would not be physically possible for me to make more tea than I was making already. So that's the kettle just clicked. So you need a teapot. This one is really great because I made it and it has this gorgeous handle, which is a lovely shape. It's a nice weight. One of the things that's nice about it is that inside right here, there are holes so that you don't have to use a tea strainer. Pretty sweet. So before you actually um, use the teapot, you need to warm it up. So you take a little bit of the boiling water. So it's the middle of summer in Australia, so this teapot's not actually cold right now, but what we're doing is we're taking the chill off of the teapot so that you don't end up cooling the tea more than you want to. So you just gently warm the pot by moving the water around in the pot until you feel the ceramic get nice and warm. In the proper winter, I will actually do the same to the mug made that as well. I'm going to set up an Etsy quite soon so that I'll be able to be like, I made this cup, also you can buy it. I don't know if, if anyone's going to ever buy my cups. but So you just start to feel the nice warmth coming through the ceramic. This is a stoneware, this one. Um, and when that warmth comes through, and you're happy with it, pour it out. So now you've got a nice warm pot. Then, loose leaf tea is nicer, but sometimes I use tea bags. So the amount of tea, I've lost my teaspoon, embarrassingly, so I have to use, I think I'll use the half tablespoon measure. I like this size for this amount of tea. The amount of tea to use is one per person and one for the pot. And that's because um, even if it's the same size of pot, you're going to pour them quicker if it's for several people. So one for me and one for you, little people. And then we pour our freshly boiled water in. So it's not good to reboil the water over and over again because it boils out all of the oxygen and makes the water taste kind of stale. So you fill up the pot, pop the lid on. If it is winter time, you can put a tea cozy on that. And your tea will usually tell you how long to brew for. This one is three to five minutes. So the next thing we need while that's brewing now. I'm really bad at leaving it for three minutes, and if we leave it for five minutes, that would be us having a video that went on for eight minutes. That's forever in internet minutes. Forever. So, let's pop this away. So next you need milk. I get the unhomogenized milk. So you got to shake it up because it's like old school milk and there's cream in there. Shake, 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 shake. So it's got big chunks of cream in it, which I adore. I put the milk in first. Um, I don't want to start a war. You do it your way if you want. But um, I've always put the milk in first, and except for if I'm making a single cup with a tea bag. 
I haven't found that it matters that much, really, but this is the way my mum taught me to do it, so this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, so, pop in a wee dot of milk. And then you wait for your tea to be tea. And you wait. And you wait. That's one of the nice things about making a cup of tea is it kind of causes you to slow down and wait for, you know, and take a breath. And having to wait for the tea is in some ways no bad thing because it does force that moment of contemplation and stillness um, in your day. And sometimes our days can be real busy and, and run aroundy. I mean, not really mine because I work for myself, so mostly I'm sitting in my house working on my computer or on my laptop, but still. I can still be busy, um, and because I do work at home, I pretty much have a cup of tea on the go at all times, so how to make tea is pretty important to me, and as a Scottish person as well, and my mum's Irish, so tea is so important culturally to me and in my family. Anyway, this, this tea has now had three minutes. It would probably benefit from having the full five, but, you know... I am not some kind of patient, awesome patient lady, so now we're going to pour. Yeah, it's a little light, but it's good. It's a nice colour. There we go. And now we have a nice cup of tea to take to bed. Um, this is a little different than my other videos, but... Uh, fuck it, I can do what I like. Um, and I have some awesome packages coming, so I'm going to do some more package opening videos, some hauls, and I have an item that I might review if I'm brave enough as well. So, love yous, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!